Amigos de otras fiestas de Miami, estamos con el protagonista de la nueva película Bob Marley One Love. Estamos con Kingsley Ben Adir. Hello, hello, Kingsley, how are you? I'm good, man. How are you doing? Good. Welcome to Miami. Thank you. That was fun last night at the premiere. It was great. So many people. Yeah. <laughs> you well, have fun? Man. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Amazing, amazing. Well, everybody had so much fun and the movie was great. Thank you. Honestly, like, I'm sure like playing uh, Basketball Ken was iconic, but this is like next level iconic to be Bob Marley. A little bit. <laughs> What is the, like, the one thing that you learned from this character? Musically speaking, um, I learned how, how, how committed Bob was to his craft and, and how connected God and spirituality and the social injustices that Bob was witnessing around him from when he was small, the way, like, how he incorporated all of that into his music and the commitment to it. Uh, his commitment to creation was, was uh, It's beyond inspiring, you know. When you were on stage um, with all the crowd and everything, like, was that like, really, like you had like the crowd, like you felt like the, you know, like Bob Marley, like on stage, or was like, oh, like a little edited? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you were like, yeah. for... I mean, no, no, no. In some of them, they look like 100,000 people. Okay. So maybe there was, you know, a few thousand people, and then they do. But you had a crowd where you got like all that. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. What was for that sure. like? It's great. Yeah, it's great. I always wanted to be a singer, and obviously yeah. I can't sing. So like, I'm sure yeah. like, I need yeah, to experience Yeah, I got a little opportunity to experience what that might feel like, because I've never, you know, sung right. or done anything like that. I mean, maybe a little bit uh, drama school, but not, um, not like that. You know, to to play to play Bob songs. You know, and we'd play, we were playing James Brown as well between setups for energy. Um, and for, for like fast movement. So it was, those days were just big musical days and everyone on stage can actually play. The accent was amazing. Um, were you, did you find yourself speaking like Bob Marley after like doing it for so long? Uh, and privately, yeah. not, not publicly. No? Yeah. So if well, I ask you a question and I want you to answer, no, you no, wouldn't do it's it? It's a public space, so no. I, keep, I, keep it, I keep it low. We were never trying to perfect it. We were just trying to make sure we were as authentic as we could be in the time that we had. Um, so, no one talks like Bob. Bob just, Bob talks in his own unique, beautiful and brilliant way. So it was learning the language and then listening to Bob and then trying to find a way to combine the two, you know, without really worrying about who understood or who didn't. It was really authenticity was the most important thing. Come to see Bob Marley One Love on Valentine's Day, which I believe is on Wednesday, depending on where you are in the world, 14th of February. Thank you.